one question which my patients keep on asking me is what is keyhole spine surgery or endoscopic spine surgery or minimal invasive spine surgery as the technical advances take place in every field there has been a significant technical advances in the field of spine surgery and also in the brain surgery Previously, when we have to operate upon a disease, we had to make a big incision on the skin, separate the muscles, remove a lot of the bone and cure the condition. So, this big incision on the skin, separating the muscles, removing a significant part of the bone is the collateral damage which will cause to the person while dealing the disease. So, this collateral damage causes a lot of complications like this causes new back pain. This leads to a loss of, uh, lot of blood loss during the surgery. This increases the amount of pain the patient is going to suffer after the surgery in the immediate post-operative period. So, this causes a prolonged period of suffering and also it increases the operative strain. So, to overcome this collateral damage of an open surgery, what has been designed and what has become very famous over the last few years is is the endoscopic spine surgery or keyhole spine surgery or minimally invasive spine surgery. So first let us understand what is the difference between a minimal invasive spine surgery or keyhole spine surgery and an open spine surgery. In keyhole spine surgery as the name implies the access to the pathology to the disease is by a small skin incision. In majority of the cases, the skin incision is less than 1 cm. And also, while going to the disease, going to the pathology, we use specialized equipments which do not damage the muscle, which do not damage the bone. So, we reach the disease as the pathology, which we have to remove by equipments without damaging the skin without damaging muscle without damaging the bone so this causes very little collateral damage to the body this translates into less post-operative pain literally minimal bleeding and no bleeding during surgery and the patient will be back to his routine work very quickly sometimes as quickly as within a day the patient is back to the work second not just the collateral damage when we reach the pathology the disease the success of any surgery whether it's open surgery or a minimal invasive or keyo surgery depends on two parameters one the illumination that is how brightly i am able to see the disease secondly the magnification that is the human nerves human spinal cord are very thin some of the nerves are as thin as your hair. So, the success depends upon how magnified I am going to see this one. In keyhole spine surgery, we use a special equipment called an endoscope. This serves the purpose of illumination. It gives the, it illuminates the disease or the pathology from a very near distance. So, the uh, structures of interest are seen with a lot of illumination. Secondly, it magnifies the image by 5 times, 10 times, 20 times. So, the small hair-like structure that is in nerves are seen as big as your pen, as thick as your pen. So, when the surgeon is able to see the disease with a bright illumination, with a large magnification, his capacity or capability of removing the disease without causing harm to the normal nerves increases. So, the keyhole spine surgery is more safe it becomes more safer and more effective than an open surgery without magnification and illumination. And third one, this keyhole spine surgery requires special training and special expertise and special instruments. These instruments and the expertise and training brings out outcomes which are much better than the open spine surgery. Thank you.